is Angela. And this is Rachel. And together right. we are Two, two Tall Ladies. ladies. <laughs> the prep on a piece like this is um, it's got no it's got no vac it's got no varnish on it or lacquer or anything that um, is going to stop the paint from soaking in. It's we believe it to be real wood or at least a composite of real wood. So for this, um, I think that we just need to give it a scuff tan. How do yes, you feel? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so so we're gonna just do that by hand. I'm just gonna throw it when you've got it. Sand sand. We're always going to sand in the same direction as the wood grain so that we don't get any cross scratches across your wood and that's going to give you a nice finish. Yes. So on the side we're going to go across. We're just going to make sure that we take off any sheen or any smooth finish because your paint will just chip. And I think that the reality is that although there are some paints that stay that you don't need any prep and actually probably to get a great finish and a hard finish you don't need to you don't actually need to prep to get a good looking finish but to get a lasting finish that isn't going to chip I think it's very important to yeah that. yes because with the best will in the world if you've got a very shiny piece no matter how hard the paint sets if it gets knocked, it's just going to chip off. off. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to make sure, and we're using um, 120 here. Um, depending on um, what you what you're actually going to finish in the wood wood that you're working on, um, even a 220 might give you a good scuff sand. But um, for this, if you want to go a little bit deeper. Using do you ever use the, uh, the blocks with the paper wrapped round? Um, yes, I do. Especially because this makes your hand hurt. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. The, the nails go. Nails? <laughs> <laughs> more like. So I'll just give this in the middle because that's quite raw in the middle. So I'll just put that. Nice we need, ideally we need a tack cloth which is going to take all the, the dust away. What we're going to do is just get a, a little brush first. In the corners, that's what I use. Yeah, I can't beat it, can I really? Or even the uh, air good on the compressor. Oh, I love doing that. Great way to dust your house as well. <laughs> Can you imagine just starting at one end and blowing it all across your house? That window. Now normally we would strongly advise that you wear a dust mask when you're sanding any time. <laughs> yes, just got we a little bit carried away today, but normally we would wear a mask. Yes, we would. So there you go. You need yourself a little mask. Okay, so on a lot of surfaces, that's all you really need. But as we work together and we work on different pieces and we work on different finishes, we're going to be able to show you the best prep for each kind of piece. So um, stay with us and we'll teach you everything now. 